To hear more, listen to the podcast. Just search for Hancock and Kelly. Missouri's Attorney General continues to build a legal case to remove St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner from office. She calls the effort racist and dropped a surprise announcement. She's running for re-election. What they did was make it worse, because guess what? This black woman here is going to fight. Gardner drew raucous cheers from dozens of supporters at what she billed as a roundtable discussion on criminal justice reform. Evidence continues to mount that the Democrat circuit attorney continues to let serious felony crimes go unpunished in St. Louis in massive numbers. Republican Attorney General Andrew Bailey calls her claim of racism ridiculous. Michael, is racism at work here? Could she survive this and be reelected? Well, lots to, to, to answer there. Uh, is racism at work? I don't, think, I don't think so at all. I think it's the incompetence of our office. Why is she making this and announcing she's running? Because she wants to raise money. And I think she's trying to appeal to well-intentioned people who may be reading this article from another place in the country saying, oh, my goodness, they're out to get a, a progressive liberal uh, prosecutor. That's not the case. She's just not been doing her job. Um, and, you know, this was our town hall. This is the first one she's had in the five years that she's been there. She didn't take one question. She announced that she's running. It's all about raising money and continuing this fight to make it about anything other than her incompetence. You think she could get elected again? Yeah, unfortunately, in the city of St. Louis, she's been elected twice. One time, after the voters had plenty of time to see what her pedigree was. So when people don't participate in elections, this is what happens. How do you see it, John? Well, she doesn't do her job. Uh, but the problem is, I don't think enough people out there are paying attention in the city of St. Louis. Look at the turnout numbers in the city. They're yeah. abysmal. And she's not doing her job. It's not racism. It's incompetence. And if enough voters understand that she's not doing her job, the, the voters, the people that live in St. Louis don't want crime running rampant on the streets. But they need to be educated. And then they need to turn out and vote and, and, and swamp this small, relatively small number of progressives uh, that have basically taken over this city, not just in the Kim Gardner's office, but in the mayor's office, in the president of the Board of Aldermen's office. I mean, this is a real problem. An exploding St. Louis crime problem, rarely prosecuted by Gardner's office, is car theft, car break-ins. Instead of cracking down on the criminals, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones and Police Chief Robert Tracy announced that St. Louis is suing car makers, Kia and Hyundai, claiming that they are fueling the city's car theft epidemic by making cars that are too easy to steal. St. Louis joins Seattle, San Diego, Columbus, and others in suing Kia and Hyundai for failing to include engine immobilizer technology in their U.S. cars prior to model year 2021. The suit, uh, the suit claims that that technology has been standard in U.S. cars for a decade. It says thefts in the city are up 128% since May more than 7,300 stolen cars, 61% of them were Kias and Hyundais. Now, the mayor and the police chief held a news conference to announce the lawsuit. They did not take questions. Right. What questions do they need to answer, John Hancock? Well, why don't you enforce the law? I, you know, or why don't you go sue the shopkeeper who doesn't put steel bars in his glass windows? I, you know, it's crime is the problem. Criminals are the problem. They're stealing cars. You don't sue the car manufacturers. You go catch the criminals, and you put them in jail. It's a, this is ridiculous. And they didn't answer questions. Now, the mayor and the chief pointed out that stolen cars are so often used in deadly crimes. Yeah. Is that Kia and Hyundai's fault? Well, potentially, and this is a good lawsuit. It should be going forward. The real problem here is, is this is the only time we've heard from the mayor and the new police chief. Is this the crime, crime plan to sue automakers? This is going to fix our problems? That dog's not going to hunt. Still to come on Hancock and Kelly, we're going to talk about alligators. <laughs> <laughs>